Developing now, did you hear it? A loud boom rocked the DMV yesterday, and people in several states and D.C. said that they heard the bang. And now we're learning more about what caused it. Defense officials say that it came from fighter jets scrambling to respond after a private jet flew right over to the district. Moments later, the plane crashed in a remote part of southwestern Virginia. D.C. News Now's Joseph Omo covers aviation for us. He has the latest. For so many people, it was just an ordinary Sunday afternoon. Remember the first weekend in June, absolutely beautiful outside, but that all changed at 3 p.m. when this sonic boom went ricocheting across the entire DMV. I'm sure you heard it. Think about it like this. It's a sound that was so loud. It wasn't just heard in one state, but two states and the nation's capital. Well, now we know that sound coming from F-16 fighter jets, including some that took off right here at Joint Base Andrews. Yesterday afternoon, a guessing game. Maybe it's an earthquake? I thought somebody put a bum in my house. Little did this musically talented couple know they'd have some extra help from the sky as they were recording yesterday. The sound coming from a sonic boom of F-16 fighter jets scrambling on high alert over the D.C. sky after a private business jet flew through restricted airspace. Defense officials say the pilot was unresponsive and that the fighter jets were authorized to go supersonic to try and draw attention from the pilot. The aircraft, a Cessna Citation, ended up crashing in a mountainous area of southwest Virginia just moments later. Rescuers say among the four people who were aboard, none survived. The FAA and the NTSB are investigating, but what's still unclear is why the pilot wasn't responding. Take a look. Data from Flight Radar 24 showing the flight was destined to Long Island, New York from Tennessee. It flew right over the airport it was supposed to land at, but then turned around and headed towards D.C. For now, we're left with that mysterious boom over a sunny Sunday sky. And as for those investigations, we are expecting a preliminary report to come out from the National Transportation Safety Board, the NTSB, in the next two to three weeks. That preliminary report won't necessarily spell out exactly what happened here. It won't give a final cause, but it will give some context as to the circumstances around this very bizarre flight. Reporting just outside of Joint Base Andrews, Joseph Olmo, DC News Now. Back to you.